Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a button to select the top 5 values or top 10 values. So just quickly we've got item number and sum of sales. So if we double click the column for sum sales we can see that 4, 3, 5, 25 and 4 are our top 5 item numbers. Now what we could do is go into actions of this text object do a select and fill for item number and then add one, two, sep within uh, parentheses and separated by a pipe symbol, put in the top five values. So we can print, so it's four, three, five, 25. 24. So now if we click OK and then click on the button, select it will select our top five. However, our top five is going to constantly change. So what we need to do is we need to add an expression. So what I'm firstly going to do is I'm going to do the expression in the straight table and then we'll copy the expression just so you can see how it works. So we'll first just copy sum of sales. So first we want, we say rank some of sales and then click apply. So that's going to rank them ba based on sales. Then what we want to do is, if we click OK and then select an item, it's going to say it's rank number one. But we want to aggregate that by the item number. So we can click in here and we can say, Agar, comma, item number. And now if we click apply, and again if you make a selection, it's it still is giving the, the rank of one. So we just need to add one more piece to the, the expression, which is to disregard any selections. So we would just before our sales for two quarterly brackets and number one and then click OK so now we select let's say item number 23 it's ranked 11 so we select 23 and it's holding the value of 11 which is what we want so then what we can do is we only want the top five so if you say if less than or equal to five comma play number and click OK. So you can see now we've got our top five values. Now for it to work in a for it to work in a button we need to get rid of these blank values. So what we'll do is we'll we'll concatenate these concat and we'll separate them by a pipe, like what we were doing earlier on. So if we click OK, you can now see we've got our values similar to the what we have here, our search string. So the final piece that we need to add to this is the open and close our parentheses. So we can we can just simply say in single quotes put parentheses and and then add the same at the end. Click OK. So now you can see we've got the search string that we require, so we should be able to just copy that, add an action, select and field, choose item number, and then paste our expression, Control V, just say equals. And now if we click OK, we select We'll just select the top five values. And just so we can show that it's it's working. If we add, let's say this, we need to click here. So let's say item number two has got five three five. So we'll go into the script and I'll give that an extra sixty thousand or something like that. Let's 
we need this. Now to reload. So now we select the top five. It's no longer 24 or 25, it's two, two, three, four, five, and 25. I hope that helps. Um, it's really it's really handy to be able to uh, select top five values again. We always we do here in this expression is then just change this to less than or equal to 10. Click OK and then Obviously, change your our button. Just say top ten, and that will select our top ten item numbers based on sales. I hope that helps, and we'll see you next video.